Every day, eight American children are killed by guns. That's one child every three hours. One child. One child. Every three hours. Enough. Enough. Demand a plan. On Wednesday, moms from 30 states around the nation will descend on Washington with a simple demand, common sense gun laws. Some notable mothers and members of Congress will be part of the push. Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, Senator Dianne Feinstein, and Senator Barbara Boxer, to name just a few. Of course, when it comes to guns, we know that nothing is ever easy. But just as Mothers Against Drunk Driving fundamentally altered that national debate, can mom's personal touch get Congress to act? After all, moms can be pretty convincing. Joining us now is Shannon Watts, founder of the appropriately named grassroots group Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. Shannon, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. So I was hoping you could talk about uh, your inspiration to start this group. Is this your first venture into advocacy and activism or have you done this before and, and how, is, how has the evolution of the group been going? You know, I am what I would refer to as an accidental activist. I never did this in my entire life. In fact, I was a stay-at-home mom for more than five years uh, until Sandy Hook, and that really changed everything for so many moms uh, to have 20 elementary school students shot down, some 11 times each in the sanctity of their elementary school. It was a game changer for everyone, and that bell cannot be unrung. Uh, we are all spending 15 hours a day as volunteers to try and make a difference and to tell our legislators at the federal and state level that we are not going to rest until there are stronger gun laws in place in this country. Well, let's talk about the uh, the push for new gun laws. Uh, obviously, there's a, there's a whole package that uh, that's ultimately going to uh, you know reach Congress in a few weeks, and we'll, we'll see what happens there. But if you, I think my sense is when you talk to some people down in Washington, more more off the record, people who are pushing for this, um, what they're saying is yeah, the assault weapons ban going to be proposed right now. That's probably not going to happen right now. Um, you know, limits on high capacity clips probably not going to happen right now. What they seem to be focusing in on right now um, is this universal background check idea. That that whole private sale loophole where like 40 percent of the guns right now are purchased <laughs> doing away with that um, how significant if that is something that happens this year how significant do you think that would be just to get that one piece of legislation through I think it's extremely significant but make no mistake uh, we are not going to rest until we not only have background checks we have an assault weapons ban and we have some kind of regulation system to track ammunition right now you can buy thousands of rounds of ammunition online with absolutely uh, no proof of purchase or tracking system whatsoever unlike Sudafed and so we'll be happy if that happens with the background checks this year uh, but we will be back in the midterms and we will back, be back again after that this is something that we're going to fight day to day until we get some common sense uh, changes to our laws Shannon, yeah, I was looking over your website, and I think we just put them up on our screen. <clears throat> the the actions that your group is demanding, uh, banning so-called assault weapons and magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. You want background checks. You want to report sales of bulk ammo and ban online ammo sales. And, of course, uh, counter gun industry lobbyists' efforts to weaken gun laws at the state level. Um, I'm wondering... If your group is also concerned with mental health issues, um, I'm thinking about Newtown, and this was a very sick young man who not only killed children, but also his own mother. Are moms concerned about mental health or just guns? Absolutely. There are a lot of reasons this country is so violent, whether you're looking at Hollywood or video games or the mental health system. There are a lot of things that need to be addressed. But what we can do right now and what Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America is focused on are changing the gun laws in this country. That is our sole focus at the federal and state level because there's some very easy fixes that can be done quickly. We will no longer sit by and allow our members of Congress to turn their backs on common sense legislation. It's absolutely uh, unbelievable that uh, the NRA has been allowed to drive these laws for so long, not just at Congress, but also in our state legislatures, and that is our focus. Shannon, we welcome you to this national gun conversation. I remember Mothers Against Drunk Driving had a massive impact in changing that conversation, so you have a chance to do that. And I noticed within the gun conversation, the gun rights people always want to make it, what am I supposed to do when a criminal bursts in with a gun? But if the discussion was more honest, and it was based around things like the fact that women are far more likely to be killed by a gun in the hand of an intimate partner, a husband, a lover, a friend, than by a stranger with any implement at all. If we knew that fact, then we'd have a much more honest gun conversation. 
That's absolutely right. Uh, you know, we are not about banning uh, all guns or changing the Second mm -hmm. Amendment. Uh, but what we are about is making sure that this idea of, of Wayne LaPierre's future, where we have shields over our schools and our kids go to school in bulletproof backpacks and, and everyone is armed and the bad guys shoot it out with the good guys over our kids' heads, we're not going to allow that as moms. That is not going to happen in this country. We're awake now and we are going to fight for common sense gun laws as long as it takes. Well, Shannon, I know it's not easy to sort of put yourself in the public spotlight and take on a big issue like this. And if more people did it, uh, the country would be better. Thank you so much for your activism. Thank you. All right, up next, if you thought former Defense Secretary William Cohen was out to change the world, then you haven't met his wife.